max engine to sell. Okay, and what we're doing in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to cut in the sound suppression teeth in the back end of the in the back end of the nacelle. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this. We're going to do this. This is the 737 Max 7's engine nacelle, all styrofoam. And we're going to cut in, I'm going to show you how easy it is to cut in the sound suppression and aerodynamic uh, teeth, tra trailing end teeth that are in the back end of it. In this video, I'm going to show you how really easy this is. All you really need is a pen, a stencil, and um, an X-Acto knife, and some patience, and you can build this. It's really, I mean, you can actually cut out the things. It's really easy. And you're, what you'll come up with is something that's super scale and then ready to be laminated and then hollowed out and then the 90 millimeter will be inside that. Okay, so for this video I'm going to show you how to do that. This is 737 MAX engine nacelle sound suppressing teeth or aerodynamic slash sound suppressing teeth. So let's, let's do that. The, hope, the main purpose of this channel is not eye candy. The main purpose of this channel, this RC channel, is to help you answer questions or to help you if you have questions of mine or questions that we all have together and come up with solutions and answers that you might have in your scratch build and uh, I try and show you some of my techniques and maybe you can blend those with your techniques and other builders techniques and come up with better answers and help you with your scratch build project. I'm not here to advance my ego, I'm not here to walk around with a trumpet. I'm here to scratch build RC aircraft. I do this for a living. About 10 airplanes in here are customer builds. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm lucky to do this for a living. That's the payment to me. That's my happiness in life, is I get to do this for a living. And I, I'm happy for that. I'm very, I am incredibly um, content and satisfied with my life. I really am. I don't need to have constant, pra you know, praise and people um, kissing my ass. I don't care about that. I really don't. What I care about is helping people with their scratch build projects because that gives me satisfaction. If I see someone build an RC airplane and take some advice that I gave them and it helps them, then that's payment enough to me. That's more to me than some kind of boost to my ego. I really don't care at the end of the day. I get to scratch build RC aircraft for a living, RC spaceships, airliners, fighter jets. I get to do it for a living, nine to five. I get up in the morning from Monday to Friday. Sadly, the weekends are Shannon's, my wife. She owns the weekends. When, the, when Saturday and Sunday roll around, I have to basically put the planes away. But twice a month, I get a Saturday or a Sunday to myself to go to the fly field and fly or I might take one day during the week and go flying. I try to fly at least twice a month, um, either a local flight field up at Camden with the boys up at uh, Kershaw County Flyers. You've seen a lot of my videos there. So in this video, let's attack the 737 MAX engine nacelle, and I want to show you how simply and how, how simple and easy it is to actually make a scale 737 MAX engine nacelle. Okay, come on, let's get working. Okay, well, it's raining outside, so if you hear raindrops on the roof, that's the reason. So I hope that that doesn't irritate you guys too much. Okay, here is the 737 MAX um, rear of the engine nacelle. I've already cut the, uh, cut the sound suppression um, teeth out of. So let's go ahead and let's... Let's do the one that has not been um, cut out yet. Let's do that one. What I'm going to do with, eventually with these nacelles is the same thing that's been done with this 737 um, 300 nacelle, this, the hamster head or the hamster face nacelle, as they like to call it, in the airline industry, the nickname for it. It's going to be hollowed out. Okay, so what are we going to need for this? Well, the first thing you need, and I've already done it, but I'll show you um, 
what you need here. And that is you make a stencil. You make a clear plastic stencil just like this. And this is the teeth. This is the overall teeth for the, um, you know, in case you want to make a 7, 8, you know, a, a 737 Max, this is how you do it. So you, you take the teeth and you place it over the, uh, over the foam. You take a pen and you just draw, you just along the ridge and you draw in, like I've already done, the teeth. You just draw them in. And then once you have that done, now we can go to the next stage. All right, and all you need for this is a regular, standard, X-Acto knife, like here, or even a scalpel. A scalpel, uh, you can get a cheap pack of 10 or 20 scalpels off eBay. Do you have any 3D goggles on? Sorry, just messing with you. Okay, all right, let me show you how we do this, okay? You take your X-Acto knife, right? Take the engine nacelle and place the bottom like so against your chest. Make sure that you have something soft on and you don't have any hard like zippers or anything or buttons that are going to ding the styrofoam. Uh, let me make sure that I'm in the center here of the, uh, of the screen so you guys can see me. Take the X-Acto knife and cut Mark off which is the which is the cutaway portion of the teeth portion. It sounded I, I shouted like an Irishman night there. Cut out a portion that you don't need, and you cut it out. Sorry about that. I am half Irish, so there's the reason. I'm half Norwegian, half Irish. So, all right. So you take your exacto knife and you cut along that knife, that along that line there, and you dig it in very gently, right there. And then you come back up along the other surface, along the other line, cut up and cut up into the top of the the top of the uh, exhaust outlet. And then you take the knife. This is important that you watch this and you see what the you understand what I'm doing here. You take the knife and you cut it down about three millimeters. You see what I did? And then the boom! You got one tooth. You got a shark tooth right there. There you go. That's what you do. And then you do it again. Come down like so. And be very careful. Make sure that your X-Acto knife, the blade is fresh. Do not use a dull X-Acto knife because it will it'll create something better known as a jaggy and that is the kiss of death. You see? This is what I'm doing. I'm just taking this and I'm just going into there. Just going straight in like that along the along the tooth line. And there we go. And I come back up and I just there we are. Look at that. Just like that. See? I just take this and pick it up. See? And I just keep doing this. Now I know a lot of you from the comments I get sometimes here on this channel would be the guy without patience or discipline is going to do this. Oh man, I gotta cut out all those teeth! Ah. That's boring. I don't want to do that. I just want... Uh, can you make that happen real fast and just... Could you make that a really quick Facebook video that happens in like eight seconds? See? I mean, just in, just in this video alone, in this time span, look at what we've done. Just in this time alone. Look at that. Thank you again for your time. Thank you for being here. And thank you for showing a little bit of patience. Patience, tenacity, and discipline. Figure out those words. Put them in your heart. And if you can, you will become a scratch builder. You might be one now. And you know those words. Part of your discipline. And you understand it. 
737 MAX 7 engine to sell. Those are the teeth. It's that simple. You need patience, tenacity, discipline, and an X-Acto knife, and some time. And you can do it. I don't want to hear any excuses. Get building. No excuses. Okay. Next step for the 737 MAX, my MAX 7, is the EDF power test, taxi test. That's coming up. Who knows when? But I hope soon. And then after that, in a few months, uh, we'll have the maiden flight. Okay? And yeah, that'll be one of the videos with music and all the build videos and babes holding the airplane and then a flight. That's the way I roll. If you don't like it, don't watch it. All right, this is Demon Driver. I'm honored to have you guys here. I'm humbled by... I, I'm so happy to have you guys here and thank you so much for your time, your views, your comments. I, I really am grateful and I'm very lucky to have great subscribers like you. Even the trolls that attack me sometimes, hey, it's all good. It's all good. I, I get it, okay? This is Demon Driver. Thank you for your time. God bless and uh, patience, tenacity, and discipline. Have a Merry Christmas, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.